Morning. Morning. Everybody, it's Moto Weasel 66 here. I don't know how many of you folks travel out on your own. I, I'm fortunately, you know, I'm getting ready to head out for work and, and going to fly out for a week and be down in uh, Alabama. But uh, I don't know, when you leave your significant other, do you leave her little notes or him, whoever, <laughs> little notes when you're not around? So, uh I thought I'd just share with you guys some of the stuff that I'm going to do with candy while I'm gone. Leave little, little notes on the pillow here to let her know, hey, I'm thinking about you, baby. And of course, you know, since I'm going to be gone, the dog's going to probably be sleeping on my side of the bed, so... Better leave that filthy beast a note, too, just to kind of give it special instructions. To keep her little creepy dog fleas to herself. She normally sleeps at the foot of the bed, but, you know, I have this feeling that Candy Cane's going to let her sleep, you know, on my side. Look at her. She's staring at me. She knows. She knows that that spot in that bed is going to be hers. Keep your fleas to yourself. Fleas to yourself. And then I left another little note here inside of Candy's dressing room. That's a throwback to the 70s. You're so foxy. And of course, I think this will make her happy that she can leave the seat down. She always hollers at me and says, Why'd you leave the seat up? And I'm like, Well, why don't you look before you sit down? And so then I finally got to the point and said, Hey, look, I, it's my woman trap. That's how I try to trap women. I leave the toilet seat up. They get stuck in the toilet. There you go. I, 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 I get women. I, that's, that's how I get them. And then we'll head into the kitchen. Look at here. Yeah, baby. The only thing hotter in here is you. Ooh. And then, look at this one. Is this going to give me some serious, serious brownie points or what? I, I think it will. I, I, I think it will. And then I think I'm going to, it's 43 out there, but my flight doesn't leave for about another hour three hours so I think I'm gonna run and go pick her up a little something and leave it for her on the table then she definitely will miss me while I'm gone yeah like I said it's about 43 degrees out here so it's a little on the chilly side but I think what we're gonna do is I am going to go to my favorite place to get this lady some flowers. Uh, I don't know if you folks, you know, go to a normal florist or whatever you do, but I have had the best luck at picking flowers up for candy at Kroger. <laughs> Believe it or not, they're not ridiculously priced. And uh, they got a really good selection. The last set of flowers that I got her on her birthday, and they were red roses. Them things lasted three weeks. Finally, she just got sick and tired of looking at them and threw them away. They didn't lose their petals. She didn't do anything with them. She just put the little, you know, food package in there like they come with put regular old tap water in it and there you go so I think we're gonna go grab some of those and we are going to oh sorry put my hand right in front of the right in front of the camera but uh, we're gonna go and uh, grab some flowers there and bring them back and then we need to start heading out towards the airport
Yeah, I'm I'm cutting it a little close. Uh, I have a tendency of always running a little bit late anyways. I don't know why. It's just, just me. It's a control issue with me, I think. All right, so uh, I'll see you soon. Oh, no! Never fell. See, this is the problem with uh, when you cut things a little close. You get stuck in traffic. See? See? I'm the guy that everybody hates that always uh, shows up a little late and says, Well, uh, I got behind a cement truck, so um, oh, I don't know why that guy was going slow, slow. No, 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 no. I should have left earlier. But in my 55, well, you know, I'm 55, but in my what's that 40 some odd years of driving 35 years of driving have I learned my lesson no um, so uh, nobody's fault of my own if I'm late sorry guys if I show up late to the airport it's my own fault you know I did that when we went to Vegas I was <laughs> I was the last guy to show up. We were supposed to be there bright and early. We were supposed to have uh, uh, breakfast all together. No, I got to the airport in just enough time to check my luggage and get my chubby ass on the plane. How I was able to do that, I don't know. But I did. Okay, we finally made it to the Kroger. And then, now let's get us a parking spot and get our asses moving. Oh, no oh, shit. Yeah, I should have parked right there. I guess we'll park right here. i to turn off my turn signal. I'm like an old man. This place also serves about the best sushi, too. Believe it or not. They've got this nice little place in here next to this Starbucks that they do their own sushi. It's pretty delicious. And look at me. I like things delicious. As the shade tree surgeon says, delicious. Yeah, that's my worst impression of him, you know. <laughs> oh, mask required. Well, being I got a full face helmet on, I think I can get away with not having a mask on. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a sushi place. That's delicious. Love your sushi. Love it. <laughs> And of course we got Starbucks. Let's see what we got over here for the beautiful kid. Oh, look at them pretty daisies. Hmm. I think we are. I think we're gonna do these daisies right here. Those look a little eh. These look better. Yeah, let's get her. Let's get her these daisies right here. Produce anyone? Produce. Okay. The flowers have been purchased. We are now exiting the Kroger as we walk down the wrong way of the uh, aisle. Can't even remember where we parked our own damn motorcycle. It's not like that thing doesn't stand out and look at you. <laughs> do, do, do. Hello there, baby. Alrighty. Let's throw this in the back. Oh my gosh, we got enough shit back here to sink a ship. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Fits beautifully. Whee! Whee! Wee! How can you not say wee when you're riding your motorcycle? I, I yeah. 
I guess I'm a 10 year old boy at heart. Wee! Oh my gosh, it's a little cold on the chubby cheeks. Hey, let's wave at the guy on the scooter. Hey. <laughs> hey, they need love too. You ever guys, I don't know if you folks noticed, but when I was in the Kroger back there, do you guys wear your helmets in with your cameras on? You know how some folks got their GoPros that stick out front or stick off the top like a Teletubby? You know, do you ever get people asking you, you know, what's that? Or give you the stare like you're some crazy alien? I've had never had anybody ask me what is that, but you do get the looks like, you know, uh, what are you doing? Uh, what is that really ridiculous looking apparatus hanging off your face? Hmm. Well, folks, I'm back home. I'm going to hurry up and get this thing taken care of, get the flowers put up for candy. So remember, keep your feet on the pegs and the face in the wind. And I will see you all when I get back in town. Take care.